That guy's only about seven months. They're not necessarily hungry. They have grain in that little that little bucket there. I'm overfeeding a little bit because I'm switching over to whole grains and it's winter. And we had this squash. Uh, went through a couple frosts and now it's getting down. To, you know, it's freezing. It's winter time, so we just didn't get to it. But they're a nice, nice treat for the fowl. So I want to see how the pullets act. These ones I'm still trying to calm down a bit. And this guy had a larger brother. <clears throat> Might have been because of an age. I'm not sure. I consolidated two clutches and they worked out from that same breeding. But anyway, uh, yeah, there was um, an outcross I used to get this stag here. I used a Gon, which is darker. Darker razor type. Anyway, I had two real nice sisters and I single made of them and then you know, it's just rough raising ACLs. I mean, I lost most of the clutch from uh, both clutches and consolidated them. But either way, he had a brother that was bigger than him and maturing faster. But this smaller one here, the younger one, as it were, had the better attitude. And now he, he does have the better shape. And early on, I was thinking he was going to. But it was his attitude that, you know, made me uh, turn the other one free range. Even though this guy was smaller. He's probably bigger now. And this pullet... She's the only one I have so far that has come laced like that, penciled, or you caught laced. Yeah, I meant to say laced. If we see her up close. Most of them are Wheaton. Not too interested in the squash. They'll get to it. <laughs> 